This is my open source remake of the rather obscure 1998 RTS game Rival Realms. I hear the sound of battle. I've already talked a lot about pathfinding in a previous episode, but I came across an interesting problem the other day that I wanted to talk about. We're right. I noticed that I was getting huge lag spikes when trying to move a group of units to an unreachable destination. For example, inside this fenced area here. This happens because the search algorithm can't find a way to reach the goal so it continues exploring until it's performed an exhaustive search of the entire map. Your Highness. Now, obviously you and I can intuitively see that the destination is unreachable. Your Highness. But how can we detect this programmatically? To demonstrate what's going on here, I'm going to be using the scenario editor that came with the original game. And I'm going to use these traps to show visually which tiles the search algorithm is exploring. So you can imagine that when you're trying to pathfind from this spot to this spot, the algorithm is going to perhaps go around the perimeter of the fence, looking for a way in. And eventually we reach a point where we've actually formed a closed perimeter around the fence, and we still haven't found a way in. And my idea was to basically try and detect when this scenario occurs, because at this point we know we can't reach the destination. Unfortunately, this is actually quite an expensive thing to check. I settled on using a flood fill algorithm, which you can think of like the paint bucket tool in Microsoft Paint. So to put that same example into Microsoft Paint, just to illustrate the point, if this is our start, this is our goal, and we have a wall around it like this. The flood fill algorithm starts at the goal and works exactly like the paint bucket tool. If we fill the area around the goal, in theory, we can detect whether this area is enclosed based on whether the fill algorithm runs out of tiles to explore. Now let's say our area isn't enclosed and there's a small gap here. In this case, the flood fill algorithm is going to keep going until it fills the entire map. Or maybe we're just in a slightly bigger enclosure. The point is, it's impossible to know ahead of time whether or not the flood fill algorithm will terminate. So it's necessary to put a limit on how far this algorithm can explore, otherwise there's a danger that it could become very computationally expensive. So to put this back into the context of the game, suppose we're trying to pathfind from here to a destination somewhere inside this enclosed area. You can imagine that the pathfinding algorithm might explore tiles all the way around the edge like this, looking for a way in. And at some point our flood fill algorithm is gonna kick in so starting at the goal and filling outwards, uh, roughly like this, excuse the gaps. Eventually, one of three things is going to happen. Either the flood fill algorithm is going to take too long and we're going to give up, or the flood fill algorithm is going to run out of tiles to explore, in which case we know the destination is unreachable, or perhaps the flood fill algorithm will eventually encounter a node that we have already explored during pathfinding, in which case we know that the destination actually is reachable. Now, as I mentioned, this is quite computationally expensive to run. So to mitigate the cost of this, I only perform this flood fill algorithm sporadically during pathfinding. I serve you, my lord. Now, this step makes pathfinding terminate much quicker in the case of an unreachable destination. But this isn't the only optimization we can apply. Your Highness. When we're moving a group, there's no need to run through this whole process for every single group member. Once the first unit figures out that the destination is unreachable, why not share that information with the rest of the group? We're right! So now, when the first group member determines that the destination is unreachable, he aborts pathfinding early and settles for the nearest reachable point instead. This point then becomes a valid goal for other group members, which means they won't even bother trying to reach the original destination. Your Highness. Pathfinding is an incredibly complex problem and there is still a lot of work to do. We're right! But these improvements have gone a long way to making the game run smoothly, even when moving large groups across large distances. This is already a huge improvement over the original game, whose lackluster pathfinding was limited to a mere 25 units at a time. Bumming! This is by no means a criticism though, since the original game could run on a measly 16 megabytes of RAM. That's all for this update, but thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.